This is Road Long Beach, very popular. You can think it's like Fraser Island. Got a speed limit of 25 k's an hour. And uh, yeah, it's a long beach. Hard to overtake people and bike riders with a speed limit of 25 k's an hour. <laughs> when they're doing about 20, 23 k's an hour. Anyway, it's all good. Just thought I'd show for those people that haven't been here uh, at Robes, one of the popular beaches because you've always got this, you know, south, what is it, some sort of south, southwest, southeast, south something, you know, usually a southwest, but quite often this beach is the protected beach. So you just drive down the road, you turn it Long Beach, and then you follow it along, you turn it Long Beach, and you're on Long Beach, and as you can see, it's a <laughs> Long Beach, right? And there's heaps of people at Long Beach. That's not too bad, actually. There's plenty of spots. Um, you'd struggle to I'm just look and uh, you can squeeze in on the right, but you know, it's like campsites, really. You're sort of parking on top of each other, you know what I mean? Plenty of room in the water, probably because the water's cold and it's not that warm. I mean, it says 28 on the car right now, 28 degrees. It's not a bad spot there, but not a lot of room either, yeah. So you just keep going down and you can just find a nice quiet spot on your own somewhere. Bloody fantastic. But of course, the further you go, the more waves you've got, it's less protected. The wind's not blowing too hard yet, usually it picks up in the afternoon, you know, the afternoon sea breeze. Nothing wrong with a few waves rolling in. But yeah, I reckon today's a Saturday absolutely busy I mean you know it is uh, middle of January thereabouts on a Saturday so there's literally kilometers of cars parked and it's like this beach is like a highway as in it is packed like concrete where we're driving now it doesn't even leave a car track so you certainly can bring your two-wheel drive, any other, any vehicles, you know, high ace vans, or if you saw any other videos recently, or upcoming videos, high ace vans, trying to go up sand dunes, and uh, someone had a, was it, a Nissan X-Trail bog, and whatever, so you see these things in our other videos, but this one was just to show you Long Beach, it is a very long beach, if you know what I mean. Well, there's a bit of a spot there. So, you know, you could go into a spot like that. It's not bad. It's going to go all the way down Long Beach. So look, you know, if you've got 10 minutes, we'll just see how far down Long Beach we get before we decide to take a spot and go, we've gone far enough down Long Beach. I don't think you'll forget the name of Long Beach. cruising along, uh, just checking out the scenery, you know, the water's awesome, a few waves, a bit of a breeze, doesn't seem, I'm looking at the gazebos and awnings and that, a bit of flapping around over there, you know, there's a Darty 270 with no pegs moving up and down a bit, not too bad, it's not too windy, um, yeah, just checking out the wind, looks like the tide's coming in too. Bad day for gazebos. Yesterday they were getting smashed, but as the afternoon goes by, I think you find the wind picks up. It's pretty well a standard. You now the old afternoon sea breeze. Kind of like that's what it is. Jet ski out on the beach. Might he's got a peg to sort of make it up. But the tide, I don't know. It's going in or out. And it's not. What did we say it was doing yesterday at this time? I think it was coming in, wasn't it? Yeah. Well, the same two jet skis as yesterday. Same as one of our old ones. The road Yamaha SHO GP. Oh, is that a GP? Oh, is that 1800 one? I think so many jet skis are coming out anyway. Um, there 
is a Prada. Lots of cars, just keeps going and going. It's thinning out a little bit as we go. Bit of Frisbee. Uh, you get the picture. I didn't see any lifeguards anywhere, did you? Just swim between the flags. There'd need to be a pretty massive set of flags. Decent waves rolling down the other end, so we might get a spot down there. Bit of surf fun. That's what you want, isn't it? Can I get out the waves? Get smashed. Fly away. So much should I just get the nod. The nod and the smile. <laughs> and your Prados. So you get the pictures, guy. Who's been counting the cars? You can watch the video again and count the cars if you want, and put it in the comments because I haven't counted and I'm not going to. When I ever, whenever I get to about, I don't know, five, six, seven, eight, nine, somewhere there, I sort of lose interest. The cars probably the quicker. It's a bit like river crossings, you know. You try and count those river crossings on a trip, and you get to somewhere between five and ten, and <coughs> kind of lose interest, you know. There's certainly no shortage of one car after the other. We're just sitting on 25 k's an hour, that's our speed limit, so by speed you can calculate the distance as well if you like. But with all the gazebos and the groups of people under these gazebos, I'm going to tell you straight, there is, I don't think it's hundreds, I think there's I wouldn't say thousands, but you're going to be getting close to a thousand people down here, I reckon. It's got to be a couple hundred cars, at least. And uh, a few people per car. Hundreds and hundreds, definitely. We're starting to get to a few speed humps. This is about around about where people uh, lose concentration on the 25k speed limit, so they put some speed humps in. Uh, just joking. Obviously, just a natural thing. We're at the next exit. There's uh, another exit off the beach just there. Not for so if you come down in your two-wheel drive, you can only take the exit most likely back at the road. There's an exit here. It's a bit sandy. It's got some rubber on it. You might make it, but you might not. I advise going back along the beach. If you've got a you know, vehicle like this one pulling out on our right now, whatever it is, a uh, Mazda, what's that, a Mazda 1, 2, something or other, you know, one of those things. I don't know. I'm not up to date with these models. Um, still no shortage of cars, so we've passed that exit. I can still see at least another, still, what, Mitch, about another 50 cars to go. Long Beach is just, I'll tell you what, one day it'll be full to the other end. Oh, mate, did you let one rip? What's that smell? Oh, mate, really? I think we need to put the windows down, something going on. Yeah, it's definitely not a smell coming from outside. Yeah, you did. Can't get you to talk today, huh? Silence. Radio silence. Video silence. Mate, nine minutes. We're down to 20 k's now. We've got a bit of traffic. Peak hour, traffic. Take a spot there, you reckon. We're getting the point there. Take a spot there. Oh, look at these waves. They're getting bigger, aren't they, huh? We can come back to it. Let's go down to the end to just go right, you know, this is where it's at. Someone's dug out these trenches uh, just to make it a little bit rougher maybe, huh? There's some nice boom boom speed up trenches here. Look at that tandy. Ah, tide's definitely coming in. Look, someone's going to lose their bucket there. Look at that on the left there. Prado, Victoria Prado there. <coughs> yeah, I think they saw they're about to lose their bucket. You can talk if you like. I'm getting sign with you.
hands with your hands. It's gotta be hard work, huh? Hard work digging a trench. It's pretty hard sand. Alright guys, in case you missed it. We could it. use a shovel on the car. Oh, you're talking now. Yeah, we could. Yeah, we'll dig it out pretty quick. You've got to be careful that you don't chop your toes off. Because, you know, your bare foot and everything. In the sand and your feet the same colour as the sand. I can see that going wrong. A few jet skis on the beach here. Jet skis can be really hard to drag off the sand. That's why usually you yeah, have an anchor. You just anchor it out a little bit in that green water in that hole there. It's not a waste of it. The sand's quite abrasive on the hulls as well, but you know, I know everybody here doesn't care about that. Got a GP 1200, a couple of cedars, yeah, four cedars in total. Those little green ones, they're small, aren't they? They're smaller. There's a bit of a hole there. All oh, jet skis down here. This must be the jet ski area, eh? Definitely jet ski area. When we get to the end of the cars, we will stop the video just for everybody that wants to see how far it goes. So look where. What do you reckon, Mitch? Halfway along Long Beach? I reckon we're about high estimation without doing a neck injury trying to see back exactly how far we are. It feels like about halfway along. When you get to the end, uh, you can go off a couple of different directions. I think you can head away from the, the beach, you know, whatever, or you can head along the beach. And of course, you're on beaches, a bit of soft sand, and kind of the further you go, the worse it gets. And some beaches are softer than others. And of course, you can travel a long way in that direction as well. Uh, both here, close by, you can get much further up, further away from here, it goes on and on, right? So, there's a nice clear spot here, we like our own little spots. So I reckon, just here is not a bad spot actually, because we can get bogged in this bit of sand here. And we've got our own little private spot, you know what I mean? And there it is, that's our spot. That's our butter bing, butter boom spot. Or not, for now. Whatever, and the tide's coming in. Let's get up on one of those humps. Anyway, guys, that's uh, Long Beach. Hope you liked it. Remember, please give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed the view. Comments for how many cars you can on the beach. And subscribe to the bell, and there's better videos coming your way. Just showing you places. See ya.